Okay, let's do an example where we use an array uh, in a class. So what I want to do is actually we're going to build a new class which we're going to call an expanding array, and uh, this is going to be it's going to work. It's going to be a class that's going to work like an array, but uh, you, you remember how an array. And I have an array of integers. I have to specify exactly how many integers I want, right? So 66. I have to specify that number, and after that, I can never use more. I can only have 66 items, index 0 through 55. So let's make a data structure, a class called expanding array that uh, doesn't have that limitation that you know basically i can say okay put this number in location one million and it'll do it so how do i do that well let's keep going i'm going to create a new class i'm going to call it capital expanding array i'm going to put a little main there so we can do some unit testing finish and um there it is it's going to need an array so let's say this is just for integers, right? We're only going to support our integer arrays. So the array is going to be stored there. Oops. We're going to need to make that uh, private. I want that private because I don't want me messing with it outside of here. So there it is. Um, the next thing I'm going to need is the constructor public expanding array. And the constructor is not going to take any arguments. Now what the constructor will have to do is it has to set this variable to some initial, uh, it has to set, this is going to be set to null if we don't do anything. Um, so we have to assign it. And uh, I'm going to say we'll start with a size of 10. So for starters, we're going to create an array of just 10 items. Okay, and next thing after that is we want to let the user add items to the array. So we'll call that insert. And it's going to take an index value and uh, the value. And uh, we can then say index is the index in which to add value. And value is the value. Makes sense, right? So this adds value value at index at index index. Get that? Okay. So basically this would be easy, right? It's just array index value. Ta -da. Now, what's the problem? Well, the problem is going to be if index is bigger than 10 or less than 0. Uh, let's say, okay, we're going to ignore the less than 0 stuff. We're going to assume index is always um, index must be greater than or equal to 0. So that's a requirement. Okay, um, just for debugging, let's add. And a two string method and a two string method is going to return um, salt just everything in the array in a string so for int i in array I'm going to say result plus equal i and then um, a new line. I need them to return result. Okay, let's do a little unit test in here. So I'm going to say expanding array. Oops. Expanding array A E is new expanding array. Then E dot search. 
Okay, we are going to add a position to the value of zero, the value two, and then I'll add a couple other ones. So position. And then I'm going to print it out. Run that. And I see printed out two zero 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 five nine right so that's working right so position zero is the number two five is number five eight is the number nine um, they got nine just to make sure we'll run that again the last position should be nine yep we got it so that's working it's uh, generating an array printing it out inserting it uh, inserting values where they are you notice that if I have not inserted the number, they're zeros, right? We talked about that. If the array initially is going to be all zeros. Okay, now, but it's not expanding, right? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to say insert a position 40, uh, the number 40, say. And when I try to run that, boom, out of bounds exception again. Is it? Uh, she tells us is first I call main, then I call insert on line 19. So it really tells me right there, line 19 is the final culprit. And we know why, right? It's because index is bigger than value. So fix it. Well, if index is bigger than value, then uh, we can't do that. We have to do something else. What do we have to do? Well, we have to create a new array. Array is a new array of size index. Uh, index plus one, right? Because if they give me a 10, I gotta make it 11 uh, so I can put it at position 10. So that's what I want. I'm sorry, new int. <laughs> new int of size one. Okay, so. That's good, but uh, you notice, uh, hopefully you notice that the problem is that, well, we did that, now the old array is gone. So that's not going to work, right? We can't get rid of the old array. We have a new array that's now size 40, and the old array was, say, the size 10, and but the new array is all empty. So what we need to do is copy everything from the old array to the new array. And I can't do it here because uh, all right. After I do this, then in this line, array is now the new array, and I, I lost the old array. It's gone. It's garbage collected. So I don't want to do this. I want actually to put this first, call this new array, and then now I'm going to copy old array into new array. Right? So basically, uh, this is one of those cases where I do need the int i equals zero i less than array dot length i plus plus so I will be using the indexes and all I'm gonna do is new array i is array i for all of them so I'm gonna copy all the array values into new array so once that is done, now I can just set the new array, the old the array to be new array. Uh, and so after this, array will be garbage collected because we no longer have a reference to it. Collect it. Okay. Um, so I think this works. Let's try it out. I'm going to run this. Uh, nope. Nope. And it's telling me array insert at line 27. We got a problem. The problem is this is going to happen if the index is bigger than array.length. Right. So that's when I want it to. When the index is out of bounds. So I mistyped that in. Um, that was a problem. Let's try this again. And now there's a 40 there. And we scroll through, we see keep scrolling, keep scrolling. There's there's 40 of these guys here, hopefully. Um so 
We can easily verify that. Uh, if we just change this uh, around to do, and then change this to your fashion index type loop, and and the result is going to be uh, going to be i plus space plus array i plus that I think that works like that. So at position zero, we have two, at position one, zero, zero, at position five, we got five, nine, we got nine, and at position 40, we got 40. So there you go. We built an expanding array. Uh, what this does, it inserts a value. Uh, if the index is bigger than the current array length, we, um, we create a new array, and we set the array to be the new array. Uh, and that's how the array is always expanding. Uh, notice that it never contracts. Um, also notice that we have no way of getting a value out of this array. So that's easy enough to fix. We make it public int get int index and return array index. That's easy now. Uh, also, if we wanted to return the whole array, uh, I can do that. So get array return array. Okay. So this is just to show you that we can use, we can return an array. So you can pass array as arguments and return the whole array. And you can return array by just setting the type to be int bracket bracket like that. Uh, similarly, we could have we can write some other methods that take in an argument of an array like that. Um, that's it.